Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna dive on into another era. We're going back in time. We're going back to products that used to absolutely dazzle me on the daily. We're gonna aim to fall in love with things that once were. Uh, I don't really know what else to title this other than I have an appetite for all of the things that I know I loved that worked. It appears we are getting back together. We broke up somewhere along the way, lost feelings, and something happened. I was like, I was laying in bed one night and I was thinking, wow, I had some good makeup days way back when, and I would really love to revisit that time when I could count on things being consistent instead of just focusing on the new and flashy and, you know, kind of what's out there that's better. Just being content, not always looking for that bigger, better deal because I did have things like a Naked 3 palette that got me through some really tough times and I'm sorry, I forgot about you. I went on a tear at Ulta the other night and I don't even know. I was not looking at all of the new. I just kind of zeroed in on everything that is missing from my collection that I used to swear by. And this one kind of jumped out and started the whole idea. I actually pulled this one off the shelf and the alarm went off and James thought it was a hilarious idea in the middle of Ulta to start chanting, thief, thief, thief. And you know, gave the employees a laugh, but like that alarm is like, whew. Um, so started here, ended here. We have everything in between and let's get started by priming the face. We're starting with an item that was lurking in the drawer behind me, which I do need to do a clear out. You guys, I think I have like an excess, no joke of probably over a hundred primers. <gasps> I need to go to primer jail. Oh my gosh, like enough is enough. Um, same thing with my highlighters. Like those are the two drawers that are just like, mm, do you need therapy? Like, are you okay? Like why? Why so many? Like the drawer won't even open. This is from Makeup Forever. This is the Pore Minimizing Primer. It's a 24 hour smoothing base. I'm trying to branch out away from my Tarte, which really could have been in this video, but aren't we all so sick of that one? Balance. I have two foundations from NARS because they didn't have my shade. Honestly, my Ulta was a little picked over. Like a lot of things I was like, uh, like they don't have my shade. I picked up the shade Vienna in the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I feel like this is an old one that I used to love. Oh my gosh, let me just look online. The foundation that I loved more is the Radiant Sheer Glow. They didn't have that at my Ulta. They had this guy right here instead, the Light Reflecting Foundation. And because I'm nosy and curious, and have to try everything that I see. I picked this one up because I felt it was the more improved version of the OG NARS foundation. Now this in the shade Patagonia, I think is gonna be a little bit too dark for me right now, but I got a bottle of self tanner calling my name. So I'm feeling like that's gonna happen soon. But today we're gonna go in with this OG fave. This is in Vienna. Hold the phone, cause I want a beauty blender. Where were we? <laughs> okay, whoo, coverage, coverage. That is, I like that. You know what I'm saying? My face eats makeup. Like I think, wow, a little is going a long way too. Oh, we are, we are transported into 2016 so quickly. Ooh, you know what's funny about the whole throwback to 2016 makeup? Goodness, this stretches. Like I'm doing my whole face with like one dunk. Uh, we were rocking pretty intense makeup in 2015, 2014. Uh, let's fly right into 2017, 2018 and 2019. So I don't know what this call out for the year 2016 is really about, but I think Clean Girl Aesthetic was just like, hey, it's the pandemic. Who wants to put on makeup? Not me, you know? Let's call it Clean Girl. Yeah, we're going to the living room. I only wanna wear mascara, you know what I'm saying? Well now, now that we like broke up with makeup for a couple of years, some of us, now we're out in the world again and we're like, you know what? Shellac me. Let me sit down for an hour and a half and do the thing. You know what I'm saying?
This is everything that I needed. I'm feeling the full blank canvas. I'm ready to go in with concealer. This is good. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Oh my gosh, I used to be obsessed with this. This goes so far back though. This goes to like shopping on QVC and I used to write down in a notebook, I kid you not. Before I even made YouTube videos, I would watch Jamie Kern, It Cosmetics founder, and she would be doing these before and afters, and I literally would write down all the products that I wanted that I couldn't afford, but I would just dream, and I would be like, oh my gosh, I think, like, I think my life might actually get better if I just had waterproof makeup. Um, like I remember thinking that. Okay, we're gonna hope for the best with the shade. This is light tan, which is legitimately the lightest one that they had at Ulta. Yeah, this is good. I'm just gonna go in with my finger first. Scooch a little closer for you guys. Um, I will go in with the finger that has the product. And then I will take my ring finger that has nothing on it to kind of warm it up and pull a little bit of the excess. Oh my gosh, the sound that my rings are making right now is like nauseating. Ugh. I'm very happy. This is just canceled. It just canceled me. <laughs> um, and now, you know what we're gonna do? I've, okay, this also kind of inspired this whole video because I started using the KVD shade and light palette again, literally every single day. My hands have been in this palette. So I'm gonna go into the more peach shade right here with a velour puff and just press on in. Just really smoothing on the skin, pore minimizing, sets the face without looking chunky. I absolutely love it. I'm going to take a fluffier brush in that same shade and just lightly go on the forehead. We are now gonna go into this Smashbox step-by-step -step contour kit. Again, another one that I like, used so much. This little palette, the contour shades in here specifically are so good. They don't look like much. It's kind of like eh, um, but I'm excited. They're so good, they're so good. All right, so I'm gonna go into the more cool toned one with a small brush first and just slightly, go on the sides of my nose, just slenderize this region just a little bit. I used to use this like pretty much every day for my nose. It's nice, it's like so subtle. I really do like this. Okay, now to contour the cheeks, I'm gonna go in between the two right here. I just want like a little lift, not much. looking pretty good. I'm really happy with my purchases so far. I do wanna go into this Bye Bye Pores bronzer. I remember really liking this. Let's go into this brush right here, tap off the excess and just go in. That looks nice. This is scented. It smells nice, but there is a fragrance in there. on this thing is driving me bonkers, you guys. This is the OQQ bodysuit. I got it in black and brown. I love these, they're so nice. They are really good and I feel good in them, but the zipper will start to like scratch your neck. And if that bothers you, don't buy this because it's kind of making me crazy right now. I feel like this has like a little sheen to it, something like that. I really love it, yes, I like it, I like it, I'm liking everything, oh my gosh, yes. We're gonna go in with something that is absolutely OG, Anastasia for brows. If you know, you know, and if you don't know, then you probably don't like makeup. Um, This, oh, and I got, oh, I got the brow pomade. Whew, do we even dare? I look honestly kind of crazy when I use pomades, but tis the season. You know? So this is the Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown. They did not have the full size in my shade, so I opted to get the Travel Guy because I wanted to use it in this video. So what I think I'm gonna do is start out with the Brow Wiz and then go in with just a touch of pomade and 
hope for the best. I also want to mention to you guys, while I'm doing my brows, um, which is honestly my least favorite time to chat, so I don't know why I'm doing this right now, but if you have not joined the Tati list, now is the time. In about a week, there will be an announcement and we will get things rolling and I have so much that I'm excited to share with you guys. So it is free to join if you wanna sign up. The link will be top of the description box below. Expand it, tap on the link, go sign up. If you wanna know more about what the Tati list is, I will also have a corresponding video linked. I'm super excited and thank you guys for being excited with me. I do super love this brow product. Like, oh my gosh, I just, So good. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a little tap of soft brown brow pomade. A quick additional update as I'm just like thinking about the Tati list, make sure you're using your correct phone number. Uh, otherwise you could potentially miss out. There have been a couple of people that are like, well, I'll just use a fake phone number. And for one, that's likely somebody else's phone number, so. Mm. Um, but also you like the system will recognize that you might miss out. That's, that's all I'm saying. Make sure that you are in it all the way. And I'm so excited. Do I love this? I think I'm loving this. The pomade, which is surprising me. All right, we're going to do a quick spritz, a mid makeup spritz with the Benefit Professional Super Setter, such a good forgotten setting mist that does work really well at any step of your makeup game. Just like under the makeup, over the makeup, in between. It just, it works. She has lost the lip liner. Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> so dramatic. I cannot find the lip liner. I was gonna use a Huda Beauty lip liner. We're just gonna throw this on real quick. Honey Bee Gardens. Cause this is not like the star of the show. This is the star of the show. We're going in with liquid lip. Mm. Ready for this. I kind of had sworn off liquid lips because they can dry your lips out so much and they can be uncomfortable. And then I tried the new Anastasio formula really really loved it and i've had this in a drawer for a minute and i'm like you know what why not let's just play let's go for it this is in the shade bombshell which is just such a good shade and now trash the process okay might need a gloss on top it's a little dry i'm now remembering why i'm like ooh, not i don't think i'm in the liquid lip game anymore because i'm seeing a lot of lines and I don't like that. So I am gonna put a balm or something on top. I will say the new on this category from Anastasia is winning. Their new liquid lips are so gorgeous. They are very lightweight. They do not exaggerate lines as much. This is an older formula. It's beautiful. Um, I just personally feel like it's exaggerating my lines a little bit, I don't want that. This is gonna work with the theme. We have a juicy tube. If you are going to put a gloss on top of a liquid lip, my tip to you all is try your best to not fall into the habit of smacking your lips around. You wanna just let it live, let it be. Otherwise you can pull some of the pigment underneath because it will oil up and kind of break apart the liquid lip underneath. So do be careful about that. This is the shade Spring Fling from Lancome, love it. Moving on, let's blush up a little bit. Ooh, see, I just, ooh, it's like such a habit to want to be like, mm, you know what I'm saying? This is the blush in exhibit A. Oh, I didn't know it was this color. What? What? Let's try it anyway. Ooh, that's pretty. I have not worn a NARS blush in a hot minute. The formula has not been updated. And it again, you look at all these things that come out and you get so excited for like the new that you forget that there are other formulas that are really just iconic, that work 
and totally what this video is, honoring the iconic products out there. And NARS blushes, they are good. What an unusual color. I really love that. Okay, sometimes I'll take whatever excess, like not going in for any more powder and I'll just kind of re-get under the eyes after I have my blush on and it just kind of brings them together, blurs out those edges. All right, while we're here still kind of fussing with the face, let's go in to another NARS product. I do have a Becca one, but Becca's like not even, you can't even do it anymore, so love you. Um, but this palette right here, does this still exist or is there anything comparable? Because honestly, out of the like 75 plus highlighters that I have, this is still one of my favorites. I love it wet when you're not wearing much on the skin. This formula is like juicy and kind of turns into a cream with anything moisture, like any like setting spray even. And it would like turn into this beautiful cream situation. I need to know if they still make something like this because I've been using it again and like, it's definitely expired. Shh, we're gonna ignore that. My skin didn't hear that. Ah. All right, we're gonna go right in here. Just gives like the nicest, like catches the light, nice glow. We're ready for eyes. I'm so ready for this. I did a full blown dedicated video to the Naked 3 when I still filmed in front of a window standing up. That's the part that you guys didn't know. Like I try to get a little bench and like put a small mirror in front of me, but a lot of my videos were in front of the window and the window was what was giving me light. So I'd be standing in front of a window. Like honestly, the way back when of YouTube, truly bizarre, some of the things that we would do to create content. Um, but I remember really loving the look that I came up with, with this particular palette. It was a proud moment for me and I love these tones. So we're just gonna go ahead and do something quite soft, I think. I wanna go in first with the shade Limit and just kind of get this color in the crease. Same brush, I'm gonna go over into the shade Nooner and I'm gonna go kind of not all the way on the outer edge, but starting right here, I'm gonna start tapping and moving a little bit to that very outer V. Now, the reason that I don't want to place the bulk of my color out here, for my eye shape, the bone kind of curves around the outer V of my eye, and as popular as that is, it's a great technique to kind of get that outer V really kind of almost cat eye situation, like going toward your temple. If you have that bone right there, it can start to look a little choppy, not as blended as you might like. And if I'm gonna do something that's more extended, I like to work with a cream. So what you can do, so you're still emphasizing the outer corner, is take your color and then again, look down and don't go all the way out here. Tuck it kind of more almost on that very edge of the eyelid. Pat the color down and then start working your circular motions and just enough color will hit that outer edge so everything will look blended. This is really pretty, like really, really pretty. And I'm just taking what's on the tip and just kind of very lightly, not a lot of pressure going in toward the nose. I'm gonna go in with the shade Trick but I'm going to dampen my brush first. I'm using a MAC 240. Oh my gosh, this is so old that I don't even have the, I, 242. Throwback brush. I'm remembering right now how much I love the Urban Decay Shadow Formula Wet. Some shadows, if you use a setting mist to dampen your brush, it can get like chunky and lumpy, but this is like so nice and bright and smooth. Okay, I am gonna go in with dust now. I'm being kind of messy, it's fine, same brush. When I do dampen a brush, I tend to try and keep half of the pan clean and half where I would use wet because it can change um, how the shadow will apply dry if you get water or a setting mist all over it. Just another random tip.
I'm loving this, like super, super loving it. Kind of want to hit that outer edge a little bit deeper. So we're going to go into the shade Mugshot. Keeping this color kind of low. Dare I go on the lower lash line? I think I'm going to. We're gonna go in using two brushes. I'm gonna use an itty bitty brush first that is uh, by Crease Piece. This is more, I'm sure, intended. It's number 001 for lining the eye. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shade Nooner and I am going to get really like up on the lash line. Now what I'm gonna do is take a clean brush and back and forth blend this out. I'm feeling like the invention of brow wax, something I could use right now, like to kind of get them to perk up a little bit. Um, but other than that, I'm liking this so far. I wanna line the eye a little bit. I'm just gonna take the shade Dark Heart, dampen the brush. It's when I start to look mean that I'm like, yes, we're in the makeup today. I feel like I look really like, like kind of mean with makeup on, heavier makeup, you know? Uh, okay, we're in the mood for a throwback mascara, roller lash it is. I wore this mascara so much. I do love it so, so much. And I know that there's a dupe out there, but I happen to be one of the few that I just did not, it just didn't compare for me. Also, this Rosenben brush E26 is so phenomenal for applying liner. Ah, oh, this mascara is so good. That was such an aggressive growl, but it's so good. I'm gonna go in with the shade Strange and just hit right up here just a little bit. And I'm gonna go in with Dust, in the inner corner. And gosh, I just want all of it on my eyes. I'm gonna go in with Dust a little bit more in the center here. Extra little pop. Okay. Do we like the lip color or do we not? I'm feeling a little bit insecure about it. I'm gonna lighten up the lip just a little bit. This is the new one that I'm just so in love with. This is the shade Kiss. It's the Lip Velvet from Anastasia. It's just so immediately blurring. Let that kind of sit for a moment. Don't be afraid to use your fingers with liquid lips. There is no rule that says you have to use the applicator for the full application. Okay, let that dry for a moment and I have my final throwback see-through MAC lip gloss. I've been wearing this since I was like 18. Love this so much. I am gonna pull out the lashes that I used to wear in like, oh gosh, at least once a week, I would be rocking these lashes. And now I try them on and I'm like, oh my gosh, like they swallow my eye up unless I'm wearing like literal theatrical makeup, which I used to do quite often. Oh my gosh. She's a different woman over here. Come on, nice, simple, don't mess with me, right? Is that what that's giving, don't mess with me? Hey, I mean it. <laughs> Woo! The fact that these were my casual everyday lashes is hilarious. Stop this right now because I could never get into, I think it was the Mykonos lashes from Lily Lashes that everyone was like, oh my gosh, those are the best ever. And I'm like, really? I look like a dang fool in those. But this was like, well, these were just like a little more, like they're just like more every day. This is the Amber Lash from Everlasting Lashes. Honestly, I don't even know if these are, if they still make these. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of loving it. Oh my gosh, I just, I, you know what this does? It just, I wanna put on a pair of high heels. 
and go somewhere, you know? Like, this is a mood. It is bringing on a mood. Is it super weird that I feel more myself right now than I have in a long, long time? This is tripping me out. The only thing missing was a pair of big lashes. Are you kidding me? I just teleported back into 2016 and I'm here for it. I'm loving it. I love everything that I used today, you guys. This was so fun to do and I actually feel like, oh, I just found my everyday makeup that's a little over the top, but who cares? The lashes, what do we think? Tell me honestly in the comments below. Are we still into lashes? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Where are you at with them? And should I do this video, but drugstore version with all of my throwback favorite drugstore items? Let me know. Thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe before you leave. Join the Tati list. Things will be kicking up in about a week and it is free to join. All the info will be in the description box below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.